Hi everyone, welcome back to the indoor practice series. So we all know with the recent pandemic going around the world with the coronavirus, getting out to the golf course has proven to be quite difficult or we might be stuck indoors. So what we're going to look at today is we're going to be looking at chipping. Now chipping indoors might seem scary. I know if we've got some valuable stuff lying around the house, we don't want to be smashing it with golf balls. So I'm going to give us a few tips, tricks and ideas of how we can practice our technique indoors. So first things first is balls. Now I know we look at traditional golf balls. Yes, we can use them indoors, but things that I like to use as well is socks. Now that may seem a bit weird, I know, but all we can do is we can take the socks, we can wrap them up, stuff it inside each other, a couple of twists, turns. There we go, nice and simple. One last one, twist, turn. We've got a nice, really simple ball that we can practice our swing techniques with and we know it's not gonna smash any windows and doors. So really nice in that one. If you've got any tennis balls lying around, we can also use that as well. So just on the safety point, that's what I wanted to touch base with. So today, technique. Let's look at a couple of ideas that we can help us with our chipping technique and we'll start from there. So technique number one for today, we're gonna to need a couple of coat hangers. So if you've got a couple lying around the house, go grab them. We'll do this at the same time. So what you're gonna do is you're just gonna focus that they're sitting right next to each other. You're gonna turn them upside down so the base is pointing towards my chest as so. And then I'm gonna grip on the inside of the coat hanger just as my normal golf grip. So we'll see, I've got a good interlock grip there. Place it down and we're gonna focus on keeping that attached to the left forearm. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna swing back nice and slow. And when I swung back, I'm still seeing it's attached to the left arm there. And then when we swing through, I'm gonna focus once again on keeping it attached to the left arm. What I see with people when they flick their chip shots is you're gonna see that where it's then touching against the right arm. So that's what we're trying to avoid, okay? We're gonna try and keep it back to the left hand side. So bring it back to the beginning one last time, backwards and forwards. Nice and simple, technique number one for today. So, what we're trying to do is we're going to take that technique and we're going to just practice it over and over and over and over again. And when we pick up the golf club, that's what we're going to be focused on. We're trying to practice that feel of keeping that left arm nice and stable and holding it away from my body as opposed to, as I said, the good old flicking of the wrist. So that should really help us with that chipping technique all the way through and actually our pitching technique as well. What we can do to really, really help us on that behalf is stabilizing the body. So very similar to the putting, we're gonna take our butt, we're gonna place it up against the wall, take a grip, we're gonna practice swing. And what we're focusing on is we're focusing on keeping that left cheek touching against the wall there. So two techniques for today, one with the coat hanger, second one transferring through to the golf club and keeping that body nice and still. I hope you found today's exercise is really beneficial. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Remember to flick us a like and we'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks very much.